into it. Let's go. Glint did uh, the games we both ran. I think it's just Mail Mole, I believe. So you might remember from back then. Many moons ago. <laughs> Belma was only... Actually, how long ago was my last Mail Mole run? I'm trying to think. I don't know. Can't be more than like six months, right? I think I was running at the end of the year. Yeah. I'm hoping I can get one more good run start before registration happens, but I'm going to be doing some runs afterwards. So the stream's not going to be ending when I do that. You guys just get to hear my, like, stress and angst while I'm trying to register. <laughs> and this run is like 27 minutes without loads, but the loads are so quick in this game that it's basically still like 28 minutes on a good run. It's either a good run and I can finish it all the way out or it's a bad run and it won't matter if I have to reset it. Rest in peace to that hedgehog. Aggressive body blocking initiated. Um, but yeah, so the start of the game is pretty normal, except for the fact that we like skipped a lot of the tutorial and we skipped the first main city. So this is like where we f start having sequence breaks for realsies. We take this key out of the room we're supposed to use it in and we bring it down here by using that pot to boost ourselves up. And the fun thing about keys in this game is that they don't go to any particular lock and use them in any of them. So we can take it from one room and then bring it to this one. Um, oh, Steven, what's that? I don't know what that is. Ah, uh, if you get yourself boosted over here and you launch yourself in the air, you can get sent onto the out-of-bounds scene, but if you get too much speed, the game actually warps you back down to, uh, back down to here, so. Cool. And then we just grab the key as we go in the water, and we gotta keep it with us. Surprisingly, I've gotten that trick every single run so far tonight. It's almost like warming up and practicing it helps. Wild. So now we have sequence broken a key and keys are fun because they're like little portable ramps you can bring everywhere and uh, the hedgehog forest area ends with a long puzzle that nobody wants to solve. So we bring this key the entire way so that we don't have to solve it. Kingdom Hearts is pretty cool. Kev did some Kingdom Hearts before, and I enjoyed watching that. Not even before, actually it was pretty re recently. Alright, and now we're gonna knock him into the water. Oh, he actually died. Usually he doesn't. Oh well. Yano's a murderer, let's go! Actually, we've already killed, like, snakes and stuff, which, you know, probably more of an issue than something that is actively attacking us. I think it's cool. I just don't... I've not played any Kingdom Hearts, so, like, I don't have a nostalgia, really, for it or, like, a, a huge understanding of what's happening always or, like, the difficulty of it. I just kind of enjoy it for enjoying it and sake. I think I'm only gonna do the dumb skip after this if I have trouble getting up here. Which I don't, I think that's fine. Cause I really don't wanna throw runs to going for this when it's not like ridiculously faster since this is like gonna work every single time and that one's gonna work like 10% of the time. So I'd just rather do this and stay pretty close to my PB. All right, this is the final boss of the game. We did it. Now we're gonna duplicate dynamite and it's gonna get big. It doesn't do any more damage. I wish it did. It'd make it more fun. All right, let's knock this over here. Don't let the boss fly in the air.
Grab the chili peppers through the fence. <laughs> it's funny because there's like been skips that have that saved more time that have been found recently, but I still love that skip so much. Oh, I didn't didn't dash right at the end of that fight because then you can move a little bit. Uh, I'm still gonna grab the health because I really need it for later. And yes, I did just take another hit. <laughs> Why not? Uh, the weird thing about health in this game is sometimes it just displays the wrong health until you go through a load zone and then it like corrects itself. I don't know what causes it. I guess it's not the most important thing, but. That sounds nice. I think I would have liked it a lot if I played it as a kid. I probably would still enjoy it if I played it now, but... Um, I definitely feel like younger me would have had a soft spot for it. There's a lot of games like that. <laughs> but there's a lot of series if I played as a kid, I'd be very like, super duper nostalgic for it. But if I played them now, they'd be like decent, but maybe not as memorable. Ah, that sucks. He usually just kind of sticks in place there if you do it right, but every once in a while, once you get out of there. Oh, okay, we're good. Everything's fine. Don't worry about it. Hey, Zedju, thank you for... Yeah, it, I've adjusted my stream times because uh, I am now in a new place and schedule wise it works out a little bit better if I stream a bit later in the day. It gives me some time to do some extra work if necessary, it gives me some time to work out actually, be healthy, make good food. <laughs> so it's all working out a little bit better, it just means I have to push back my stream a little bit later which, which ends up working out. There's a few people that I definitely miss getting to watch later in the day because I am streaming and all that, but that's true. I think it works out in the end. It kind of sucks because I know even when I was streaming at like, uh, like five hours earlier than now, there's people that it's like, yeah, it's like really late for me, but I'll be able to watch the stream for like a half hour. But I think no matter when you stream, like obviously there will be somebody that can't watch and it's not a good time for, so you just kind of have to do whatever works for you and go from there. Please don't hit me, thank you. I just hit nothing. Interesting. That's true. I, I definitely had a... I've had a few times now where I've just like not, <laughs> not been able to even go on Twitch. Like, not even just streaming, but just like not being able to watch anyone just because like been busy. I moved out to a new place. I went for a vacation for a week, like two days before I moved. Uh, I had a bunch of like work stuff all pop up all at once. Like I had a very busy month this month and it's not even like not, we're like halfway through the month. We're a little bit past halfway, but you know, for how much of the month is still left, it's still been very busy. So I'm hoping the rest of the month is very quiet can settle into a schedule, do some speedrunning. There's some new games I'm eyeing that I'll probably be doing some stuff for. I was talking about a few of them a little bit earlier, but. Please, oh, that worked. Interesting. <laughs> Ooh, that actually works too, nice. New snowman killing strat, let's go! <laughs> yeah, for the first time in many, many years of Yano speedrunning, it is optimal to kill a snowman. <laughs> Before we routed out all the snowman killing and now we've routed it back in. This is a good split actually. I think this could be 
Maybe not a gold, but I think it might be time save, which puts us ahead. It's hard to judge because those minecart cutscenes take so long. We were close to a gold split, actually. That's like one of the sillier intentionally falling into the water strats. Like, if you just do the- if you just activate this- really. Yano's having some problems today with just falling into the water. <laughs> Apparently I have a lot of time saving this split that I didn't realize I had. So like, sub 27's actually pretty doable now. Before it was- I got no health from that, that's so unfortunate. Thankfully, this cycle always... I think you're always on this cycle, no matter what. So, it should be fine. Oh, the snake fell off. No! I need the health from the snake. Oh, that's interesting. You can cancel your dash by doing a little trunk blast. Interesting. I keep forgetting to do the strat over there. I don't even... I need to time it, actually, and make sure it saves time. I'm pretty sure it does, but there's a weird, like, edge grind thing you can do with Yano there that launches you to the other side of the room. It's very silly and kind of tough to describe. I'm not the best about actually, like, timing stuff for time saves. Okay, am I... So I actually will be streaming a little bit earlier tomorrow, like an hour earlier. I started at 7 today, so I'm starting at 6 tomorrow because me and Zick are sitting down and talking about GDQ submissions and all that. Looking through the submissions list and giving our hot takes, which neither of us is much of a hot take giver, so <laughs> it'll probably be pretty chill, but it should be a good time. I usually go through the submissions list a decent bit before the, uh, whoops, I need to actually go back over here, um, before the games list is, is on, just because I think it's fun. I have a good time doing it. It's interesting to look at some of the games that got submit, whether it's stuff that's pretty well known or the weird obscure games that I like to see. <laughs> Mostly those, but we'll, we'll see. We'll, we'll do fun segments like how many times did Elden Ring get submit and how many times did Metroid Dread get submit um, and all that. be very surprised if Dread didn't get in for uh, the marathon. It's possible. It's always possible. My health is kind of low, so this could kill me. Not a big fan of being in this low of HP. This is almost as low as HP as you can get and still be able to like do all the normal um, strats for this part of the run. You have to take one more intentional hit. Is Elden Ring likely to get in? I would, whoops, uh, I would think so. I, I'm trying to remember exactly when submissions ended and when Elden Ring released. But I think if there's a good submission for it, I definitely think it probably gets in. I just forget how much time was between it releasing and submissions closing, because that's something to keep in mind. Submissions happen way, way in advance for uh, events. Which is why everyone was like so confused why Dread wasn't in before for like last GDQ because people. I think for people that don't know, just watch GDQ casually and don't really know the process behind it. To them, it's like, well, the game came out and now the marathon happened, so it should definitely be able to get in. 
Yeah, I don't... I think I saw an Elden Ring submission. I think it's possible. I just can't off the top of my head remember. I do not like this HP we have one bit. I'd really, really like a little bit more. Why did... That was weird. Yano had like a little bit of water in his tummy, which is not a thing you can have. When you use the water, you're just out of water. It's one use. <laughs> and he had a little bit of water. <laughs> Interesting. I wonder if it's because I drank water as the water was like being unloaded. Uh, I need to be very careful not to go too high up. Uh, get some health? No, of course not. Ay, 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 ay. We need a little bit of health before we get to the boss fight. Not that we're going to the boss fight yet, but... I'm actually gonna just take a lot of time and just get HP right now. I can't think of any big games that weren't able to be submitted to GDQ this time around, but... I'm not always the most up-to-date on that. Which is nice. I mean, I'm, there might be some that releases near marathon time that people are unhappy about, but yeah, whatever. All right, we got some of that time save. Hope that the dog doesn't glitch like last time. Oh, it did. Oh. It glitched like last time, but I think it might fix itself. That is not right. That, that score right there on the staircase is not right at all. Well, I guess I have the ball with me now. Surprised that was still a gold split because some shenanigans happen there. Alright. Well. We just have to not lose 20 seconds or so. Which is not guaranteed. <laughs> I, I, I can't imagine in anywhere in the immediate future, GQ is no longer being a thing. There's a possibility they decide to go back to online, which would be unfortunate, but understandable. I think having a few, I hope they actually keep it where they have a few online runs always for GDQ. I think it's a nice compromise of like, hey, you sometimes have just cool stuff that is not feasible to show at the event because of like, you know, Darn, I lost the tilt. That's unfortunate. <laughs> you know, stuff that's not feasible to show off, whether it's like a big cabinet that you can't bring, or it's the runner lives in like Japan and cannot afford the flight. You know, there's a bunch of reasons. And I think those were like some of, I think online GDQs were a really cool showcase for stuff like that. Uh, I think VR was that way, but I still think you can do VR in person. I don't know the tech side of it, how bad it possibly is to do setup wise. I won't say I know that because I definitely don't. I feel like it's doable though. I know that mid spring speed playing did a VR run and it didn't seem like it was too much of an issue, but there's obviously differences for the size of those two events, so that can obviously change it. Right, is my hitbox broken? Who knows? I don't. Okay, 
I mean, things are going good so far. My hitbox might be broken. I guess we'll see in the next room. Hitbox is still intact. That's good. So your hitbox can break if you, like, bonk your head against things sometimes. There's nothing specifically that will always do it. Well, I think if you just... Uh, if you keep bonking your head against certain walls or props, eventually it'll happen, but I don't really know what those are. You know what? I'm actually going to do the push puzzle here. I'm actually not going to do this tilt, even though my hitbox isn't broken. I just feel like this is almost the exact same time-wise, and it's much less risky. Uh, I guess Tunic might... I, yeah, Tunic, I feel like, will definitely eventually get in. I don't know how long the run is for that, though, but I think it's also a game that's fairly fairly well-known and fairly anticipated. I mean, it's been kind of something that has been developed for a very long time. I mean, Yano and Tunic were being developed around the same time, and yana has been out for a while. Also, that glitch not working. <laughs> they had to walk across the ice block there not working a few times. A little bit annoying, but if that's the one thing that goes wrong, I don't I don't mind that. You have to my depth perception doesn't help for that, but also you have to kind of you have to walk at a weird angle. You have to walk near like the top of the block there. And usually it's not that picky. Usually the, it just kind of lets you have it eventually. <laughs> but yeah. That's one of the things I struggle with a little bit is walking on those blocks like that and skipping across skeps. There we go. That's helpful. Nice quick tilt. I'm definitely... If I were in any way part of the decision making, which I'm not. Um, I definitely feel like if a game is, I mean, okay, I, I could go either way on it, I guess. But on one hand, I feel like if a game is just released, even if people had enough time to make a submission for it, and even if it is a fairly popular game, I feel like sometimes it just needs that extra time to develop and, and all that. But in the same time, having it in, it, you can have it in multiple times. So even if the first showing is a little bit, you know, not everything's been discovered and you can still have it in a few times and, and kind of have the progression of the run show off and, and have multiple outings of it. So. Yeah, that's the unfortunate thing about Yano is there is I think in all the categories now, there is some sort of glitch where being locked eight directions, whether you're D-pad only or you're doing a keyboard, unfortunately just puts you at a severe disadvantage because there's a trick that makes use of joy, like the, the uh, joystick. But yeah, it's, it's a really cool run. I enjoy it a lot. This is my new favorite category by far. This did a really good job uh, figuring all this out, and I've just put some finishing touches on it, aka used lots of tilts and made it potentially worse. <laughs> tilts are still like the one thing in the game that I don't 100% get, but... Wow, the key almost went off in a random direction because it bounced off of the money that was on the ground. Yeah, I don't know if I can think off the top of my head what stuff I've found. There's a lot of stuff that are like group finds where like one person will find a glitch and another person will find like a good setup for it. There's stuff in Queen's Dungeon like that. Like the one lever uh, skip there is definitely... I know I found the method for it, but I definitely didn't find the skip itself.
And I have to call it the lever skip because I legitimately don't think that has a name either. All right, we only lost one second, which is really surprising, but really good. So I don't need to do anything special to get a PB now. I just need to not try <laughs> to do anything weird. I was really worried for a second I didn't move the platform far enough over. I'm gonna make this platform. Ooh wee. Jeez. I'm surprised I actually made it onto that platform. I got knocked back really badly. Think I get it? No, I'm inside of the boss. I should have gotten the glitch. It's, it's not necessary to PB. It just saves you like an extra like seven seconds if you get it. And it's just like you have to hit the boss right as you use your. Uh, your uh, trunk. All right, here we go. Not quite sub 27 yet. It's still really good. I need to not go through the wrong tunnel at the end. <laughs> that is the one thing. I will like lose a second real quick just to double check that I'm going through the right one because otherwise you lose. I would lose like most of my time saved. <laughs> Hello? All right. Yano getting aggressive and attacking the snake. Pretty sure it's this one. Yeah, we're good. Yano has a random bloodlust every once in a while, similar to like what Wish has for Super Dream Dash here. All right. Do not do anything silly at the end of the run to softlock yourself and lose all your time. Um, wave goodbye to sub 27. So sad. It's close. Very close. To hit the elevator before 27 minutes in is like kind of wild though. That's the first run where I've been able to do that. I think even if I had gotten the Guardian fight like perfectly, I don't think it would have mattered. 27-14. Very cool. That's a really good time. Hempson's last PB zero. Woo! <laughs> Some of the best dropped down so much today. Jeez.